Hey guys, this is Chris Fate with Cheat the Game. I was getting a lot of questions in regards to my Make a Trainer bid that I did in the past, and I, I think I did that with Bioshock or Bioshock Infinite. That was it. Well, I get a lot of questions, and I guess I didn't answer it that great in the bid, and I apologize about that. And I tell you the truth, I'm just getting tired of typing it out, so I just thought I'd show you and that way I can just send people to this vid you know just to show them and this is how you can tell if you have a 32 bit versus a 64 bit game and this is for you know when you make the trainer because you know here's Batman Arcane Knight and here's all my cheats that I have for it so far and let's say I wanted to make my trainer for it which I'm not really going to do but just for the purposes of answering the question we're going to go to the last step already let me delete what I've already got defined in here. I don't know why I got one defined. I don't remember ever doing that. Let me delete that. Okay. So, you know, when we click on generate the trainer. And let's say we got everything filled out the way we want it. And we got our trainer made the way we want it and everything. I'm not going to go through all that. I'll just put the description of how I make a trainer up here. You can go check out the vid if you haven't seen it great stuff it just uh, show you how to quickly and easily make a great trainer for your cheats to share with others but you get to one last step when you go to generate it and let's go ahead and click generate trainer and let's just save it and you come to this step right here and this is a very important step because if you don't Proce uh, put the process on correctly then it's not going to correctly attach to the game it's not going to correctly run with the game so you have to select target process is 32 bit or target process is 64 bit you say well I, I don't really know how do I tell well here's how you can tell without having to go mess around in reg edit which I really don't want anyone to do unless you just know what you're doing because you can really screw things up in there so here's another real, very easy way you can tell all right, what I want to do is I want to go over here to my desktop where my shortcuts are. Now, you can do this with shortcuts, but I really recommend that you actually go to your installation folder instead. So that's how we're going to do it. Here's my Batman Arcane Knight. Okay. This is the game I'm running now. So I need to tell if it's 64-bit or 32-bit. I'm going to click on properties, and then you'll have this pop-up come up here. Then just click on open file location. It'll go directly to the executable. Now right click on that. Click on properties. And what we want to do is you want to click on compatibility. And all we're really doing is doing this for viewing purposes. You're not going to leave this on. You want to keep your game the way it is. However it's running good for you. But we just want to take a look. So we click on run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then bring down the list of options well you can see that the only options we have only goes back as far as Windows Vista this is how you can tell that this is a 64-bit game it's 64-bit because as far back as it will let you go for compatibility mode is Windows Vista but let's say I had a 32-bit game what's it going to show me there well let me show you. Here's Batman Arcane City. We follow the same steps. Open file location. And just click on the executable. I may have to go to the other executable, but this may be fine. Do the same thing. Now let's look at the options. You see, it goes beyond Vista. Windows XP. Service Pack 3 and Service Pack 2, Windows N8, or excuse me, I'm sorry, 98, and Windows ME, and Windows 95. That's how you can tell that it is a 32-bit game. Alright? So if it, go, if it lets you go beyond Vista, back to these older Windows models for compatibility mode, you're running a 32-bit game. 64-bit games will not let you go past Vista for compatibility. Alright? Just to re-show you, just to compare the two together. Compatibility mode, and we're going to open the pop-up. You can see I can't go past there. Let me put them side by side. Here's the 32-bit game over here. I can go all the way back to Windows 95 if I want on the 
64-bit game, I can only go back to Windows Vista. 32-bit, 64-bit. And that's how you can tell. Every single one of them is that way. You can tell quickly and easily if it lets you go past Windows Vista or not. That's how you know you're running 32-bit or 64-bit, and you can go on and successfully complete your trainer. I do hope this helped you. I do hope this answered your questions, because I've been getting that question a lot. So that's why I decided to make this quick vid. I appreciate you watching. You guys take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because as you know, it does not mind cheating you. Take care now.